we can get to human level AGI in some small integer number of years, could be two years, five years, seven years. Mm -hmm. And I think once we get to a human level AGI, that thing can then create a super intelligence within a few more years after that. I think it's quite plausible within 10 years, we will have machines that are immeasurably smarter than human beings. The things that are beyond our comprehension have to do with higher dimensionality. Like the example I always, have you heard of the book Flatland, right? Yeah. Where they're in the, you know, sure. beings in the two dimensional world. But like the idea of if a universe was just that two dimensional sheet of paper and a sphere actually moves through that two dimensional piece of paper from the perspective of the two dimensional participants in the universe, they just see a dot appear, you know, a circle expand as the sphere is moving through, then the circle contract as the sphere is moving out mm -hmm. and then the dot disappear. Yeah. So they just saw two opposite things happen, right? Something appeared, expanded, contracted, and then disappeared. But in reality, from the higher dimensional perspective, it was just one motion. Yeah, right. Yeah. And we can't talk about these things very well, but we can point to that as a metaphor for like, okay, yeah. there's fourth, fifth, sixth. I think physics I've, says there's 11 dimensions. Is that right? Depends on your theory of physics. Yeah. yeah. yeah there's some variants of string theory, yeah. which say there's 11 dimensions, but these are complex variable dimensions. So each yeah. of these is a two dimensional dimension. This is an example I've sometimes given about the limitations of human intelligence and why yeah. we're not maximally general intelligence. It's like, how well can you run a maze in 750 dimensions? Right. I mean, <laughs> yeah. I, mean I get lost in the hedge maze. Yeah. in two dimensions, right? Yeah. But from an AGI's point of view, a 750 dimensional maze may be just another data structure well, to that's traverse, a good point. Right? Would AGI be subjected to those same limitations? Because I mean, presumably, again, even if the laptop were its body. Well, if you believe in the laws of physics, mm -hmm. just as a provisional assumption, there's some limitations you ultimately get to. I mean, there's a certain amount of information sure. you can pack in a certain amount of mass energy, right? Mm -hmm. And there are speed limits on information transmission. Yeah. You will eventually hit limits. Physical limits, for any AGI system, assuming known physics is mm -hmm. correct. Those limits are way, way, way beyond human level intelligence or any system that we're going to directly build ourselves. On the other hand, there is no consistent and complete theory of physics at the moment. That's so, right. so then taking And isn't our, that impossible? Isn't that what Godel showed us? You can't have consistent and complete systems? But he didn't show that you can't have a coherent physical theory summarizing all physical observations we've made and we don't have that right well i mean my understanding of it was that he showed that it's basically physically impossible to have a system that is totally comprehensive you know that basically map equals territory he was well, saying that that's G not possible Gertl's second incompleteness theorem what it shows is that if you have a mathematical system that's complex enough to do basic algebra of addition and multiplication mm -hmm. then that mathematical system cannot be both consistent and complete mm -hmm. right another way to frame that is to say you can't prove a 20 pound theorem with a 10 pound formal system mm. like every mathematical mm -hmm. axiom system has a certain algorithmic complexity to mm. it and there are going to be some things more complex than that axiom system however our physical universe doesn't have to be infinite our physical universe could just be some specific finite system yeah and there could be some specific way to summarize everything there is to be said about our specific physical universe because mm -hmm. Gödel's theorem is just about as mathematical statements become arbitrarily complex mm -hmm. right like no formal system can say whether all of them are true or false but if you think about it like all scientific data ever gathered is one finite set of bits right mm -hmm. could you come up with some coherent consistent explanation of that finite set of bits summarizing all scientific mm -hmm. knowledge i guess yeah. you, you could but we haven't that's the point like yeah. our theory of gravity is mathematically inconsistent with our theory of quantum, of quantum mechanics yeah. so even just given the finite data set of scientific observations we have now we don't have a logically coherent way to deal with all of it, which means that using physics to say what are the limits on a super intelligence is a bit premature, right? Because we don't even have a coherent explanation of it. all the observations we agree are real. Yeah, That's where we're at now, right? And yeah. this could even become relevant to AGI de design at some point, right? I mean, it's not relevant to quantum computing, but it will be relevant to like femto computing or something, building computers that have quarks and gluons or mm. something, right? Once you get there, then, you know, maybe physics beyond our current understanding Ending becomes relevant to how did these machines get built now we won't build those machines but like can we build a nano computer doing quantum computing that then builds mm -hmm, a mm -hmm. femto computer exploiting weird mechanics yeah. that we don't understand now what's interesting is this could happen quite fast because these machines can do things much well, faster than we can so this gets into you know something we were informally chatting about before the podcast 
started. Like, I'm an optimist that we can get to human level AGI in some small integer number of years. It could mm-hmm. be two years, five years, seven years. Mm-hmm. And I think once we get to a human level AGI, that thing can then create a super intelligence within a few more years after that. I think it's quite plausible within 10 years we will have machines that are immeasurably smarter than human beings. And I mean, this is why I think decentralized AGI is so important because I, yeah. I think that making AGI not controlled by any one of the warlords or corporate profit maximizers that now control the big centralized entities on the planet. I mean, having AGI that's open and decentralized, more like Linux or the internet, is the best path to making these AGIs and super intelligences not be megalomaniacal psychopaths, right? Yeah. I see that as something important to do over the next few years, right? Now, if, if I thought AGI was 50 years off, mm-hmm. I wouldn't see that as so critically important. 